Hello my dears and welcome to my channel. As always I am very happy and grateful that you've chose to spend your time with me and the ways you can support my channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe so I can appease the mighty algorithm and be seen by more people, or click the notification bell of when you want to be notified of when a new video comes out. And I hope that you are all doing well, but if not, I do hope things will get better for you soon. But in the meantime, join me in meeting the Southern Gothic Oracle. And this um, was created by Stacy Williams Nig. I hope I said that right. Now published by La Panther Studio, released in 2023, and uh, retails for $45 at uh, La Panther's uh, website or their Etsy shop and I will link both of those in the description below and the box itself is five and a half height across is four inches and the deck width is 1.40 the title is only on the sides the bottom a little blurry there and on the back you have your three teaser cards and it says with hand painted illustrations and evocative prompts the southern gothic oracle is a must have for readers interested in regional folklore this card deck contains a potent mix of objects and symbols from the ozark folkways appalachian wisdom biblical sculptures root work celtic traditions and hoodoo it includes a printed guidebook, written and illustrated by Memphis artist Stacy Williams Nick. Okay, and it does not have a card holder, so your cards are going to be bouncing around, unfortunately. And then we have this little guidebook, and we will go over that. Okay, and then we have the wishbone on the back, and if you do reversals, there will not it will be revealed all right and so the cards themselves are bigger as with most oracle cards than the tarot cards and dimensions is a five inches height across is three and a half and the width is about 1.60 so the other decks by Stacy, the Southern Botanical Oracle, the Rhythm and Soul Tarot. I will be getting that soon. Hopefully it was a Kickstarter deck um, and I will be doing a video as soon as I get it. Uh, the Devil's Music Playing Cards, which was um, with um, an add-on in the Kickstarter, but I think they're selling it in the stores. So if you want to check that out as well. And then the Roses, Dust, and Ashes Oracle, which I just did a video on. Um, if you're curious about that deck, um, go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's go ahead and um, check out these cards. So basically, um, you have your number, what the object is, and then a couple of keywords.
Okay, and that is pretty much the deck. And the cards themselves are kind of on the matte side. They're not glossy or anything, and they are flexi bendy. And they are kind of thick. Not too thick, though. Let's check out this little guidebook. We have a wishbone in the back of the card. We got a copyright page and table of contents. And this guidebook is pretty sweet and short. It's only 54 pages. And then we have the introduction. Um, goes into the inspiration and what she used to put the deck together. And goes into um, the term Southern Gothic. And um, goes into um, using the deck, a little bit of um, suggestions about that. And then we have a little bit of background about oracle cards themselves. And then we have some spreads. That you can use. You got your two card, one card, three card, mixing decks, five card spread, and then the actual um, definitions of the cards. And there's no colored pictures, unfortunately. I know that a lot of guidebooks will use pictures in the deck. Alright, so basically, um, goes into um, the keyword and the title of it, and um, a little background into the history of the symbol, and then basically gives you the meaning of what the symbol could mean to you. Basically, that's pretty much it. Um, it talks about um, like the shoes, the hoodoo tradition, and the Ouroboros. With that symbol. So it's, like I said, it's pretty short and sweet guidebook. And then we go into the cards by element. If you use those. Um, and basically gives you the different cards. And then you have your fire signs of the zodiac if you use those in your reading. And then a little bit about the artist and a nice picture. It's kind of dark, but if you go to the website, um, you can see better pictures of her. And then um, she does some sighting of if you're interested in reading any more about folklore and stuff like that. She just gives you different books and stuff that you can check out. And then some fiction um, with some authors if you're interested. And that's about it. Alright, so. And with these cards being pretty wide, it might be a little difficult in shuffling, but because there aren't um, a lot of the cards, there's only 45 cards, it kind of makes up for it. And, and it is flexi bendy. So you can do that kind of shuffling. You can do your 
overhand shuffling. Pretty smooth. And depending on how your hands are, if you have arthritis and everything, um, there's many ways that you can shuffle. And then we have uh, the side by side, and the side by side might work good because they are flexi bendy and they are wide. So, yeah. And then you can also just kind of spread them out on your desk or your table and kind of run your hands through them, <laughs> over them, and decide on a card that way. So, as I always say, there's no right or wrong, blah, 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 wrong way <laughs> to shuffle. All right, so let's pick out a card and see what wisdom. Sassafras, healing and self-care. I don't know who needs this message, but apparently somebody needs to be doing some self-care. All right, 45. Ozark tradition holds that the bark of certain trees can be boiled in tea to provide protection from harm. Sassafras tea has long been used in this region as a tonic for thinning the blood and purifying the spirit. Sassafras tonic was a staple among older folks, and some cut the bitterness by adding small quantities of may, apple, or sugar. Sassafras root beverages were made by indigenous people of the Americans for culinary and medicinal reasons long before the popularity of its flavor led to what we know now as root beer. This card reminds you that your physical health and well-being is of utmost importance and must never be neglected. It's time to draw your energies inward. Perhaps you have not been paying enough attention to your health or your physical body has endured an illness or injury that needs care. Treat yourself to a nutritious meal, some invigorating outdoor exercise, or a warm recovery bath. Like the tree, make sure your roots are solid and nourishing. Oh, that's such a nice message. I like that. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to take care of yourself. I know, it's, it's so hard to do that. I mean, it, you can take care of everybody so easily, but when you come to yourself, you're like, no, no, I don't need to do that. I'm okay. But whoever needs to hear that message, take care of yourself. All right. So let me know what you thought about the deck. Um, if you did go and buy it, let me know. Or if you put it on your wish list, or if you're like, nah, I think I'll pass on this. I'm always interested in your guys' thoughts about decks. So let me know. Either way, always interested. But once again, thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I hope that you will join me with a future video. But until next time, take care and goodbye, my dears.